are at the Hard Rock Cafe in Baltimore, Maryland at the Inner Harbor. Let's go. Okay, so here is the Hard Rock menu. Of course, they have your cocktails readily available. And you can get a souvenir mug. Um, actually, this is a, a nice glass, but they do have souvenir mugs as well. Here are some of the drinks. I'm not going to show them all in detail. just want to kind of show you guys an overview of the menu. Not going to bore you with all the details. Um, some wines, champagnes. Uh, here is all the beer that they offer. These are the alcohol-free mixed drinks. They're called Alternate Rock. Alternative Rock. I like that. That's cool. Of course, they have their legendary burgers here. And then here are all the appetizers. Everything looks really good, though. I wish they had a sampler where you could just like try everything, but they don't have that. So um, they do offer the Impossible Burger here. So if you're a vegan, a vegetarian, you might want to try that. Uh, the only reason I'm not getting that is because number one, it contains soy, and number two, it's 18 bucks. So I guess there's two reasons why. Um, but the burgers do look really good here. The uh, ribeye looks fantastic. That one is um, $33.95. So you might want to split that one. That's a pretty big one. The salmon looks delicious. Fajitas look nice. Mama's thinking about getting the twisted mac and cheese. That looks really good as well. Um, but we ended up going with the barbecue pulled pork sandwich, which is actually a new item on the menu. But it's been a year since I've been here, so I wouldn't even know if it was new or not, except for it says it right there. So. That was how I knew it was new. But it's interesting because they actually have sliced green apples on the bottom of the bun there. And then they have the pulled pork. And then of course your coleslaw on top. So that looks pretty awesome. And we're gonna show you guys when it comes out. We haven't decided yet if we're gonna split it or not yet. Have we? Yeah, it's not ready for dessert. Yeah, so we'll probably end up splitting the pulled pork and then we're gonna get some dessert so we can show you guys what they have. They have some fresh cobbler beer as well as a brownie sundae and Oreo cheesecake. So the cobbler's looking really good right now. This is your overview. This is all of the desserts. And actually they all look really good. Um, so yeah, and they also have um, ice cream, chocolate and vanilla. So those are your choices for dessert. So we're gonna go ahead and order and we'll show you guys when they come out. So we're getting ready to split this, but here's the pulled pork coleslaw. They have some baked beans on here for us. Some French fries. They look really good. Actually, they taste good too. We already we already sampled the French fries. Um, this looks amazing, and I think that'll probably be good. I mean, truthfully, if it's not enough for us, we'll just get another one and split that one too. But it looks pretty filling, and we're gonna start with this, and then. We're definitely gonna get some dessert. Mom is eyeing that food up. Dessert and french fries are good. Oh yeah. So let's get into it. What? Oh, she is snatching another fry. All right, there is the apple cobbler. It looks amazing. Look at that caramel drizzle. It smells amazing. You can smell the cinnamon sugar emanating from the top of it. Go ahead, Mama. I mean, we want to. Really good, huh? I already can't wait to try it. Mm. It's really warm. Yummy.
get your very own hard rock guitar. So that was our dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're just gonna walk around a little bit more before we catch our lift back to the train. We'll see you guys shortly. So I'm pretty sure we might have found the coolest Barnes & Noble ever, like anywhere. Look how awesome this place is. It was originally a power plant, 